You didn't learn about this vegetable in school, did you? Oh, hey, good morning. You caught me in my pajamas. I'm making breakfast. I just went shopping in the garden. That's how our garden has been this year. It's been a place we can go shopping, not somewhere we shop every day, but we could. We could. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got potatoes. I've been digging up these potatoes, just one plant at a time. We've got some chamomile drying over here, our breakfast, of course. Corn from the garden, which Bree did not want me to put in breakfast. <laughs> That's okay. The only thing missing in this breakfast hash, as we call it, is something green. So I'm gonna run out to the garden and see what I can find. Which may be a little bit of a challenge because we didn't really plant a fall garden. Meow. Enter the jungle. Yes, the garden is a jungle. It's a productive jungle. There's a ton of stuff you can go out here and pick. I have this sunflower here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna cut it down. I may have to use the chainsaw. I'll grab just a little bit of radish greens. I don't want too much of that because that is kind of spicy and more spunky than I'm looking for this morning. It is a jungle. I love the garden like this anyway. And finally, last but not least, we'll grab some kale. That's better. I told you yesterday I was gonna update you on my pig rotation and how it was going. Well, right here, this area that I'm standing in, this was my second rotation. They were on this spot for two days because I was at work. This is the worst spot right here. They dug into the ground. So we'll see how this recovers. They're on a new section here. No significant rooting yet over here. I'm hoping that they're gonna root less and less as they're used to being on grass and used to eating more grass as part of their diet. <laughs> She's in heat, you can tell. This is called standing heat. When I put all my weight on her back, she just stands there. They call that standing heat. She's, she's not um, aggressive, but she's not real friendly. And so when I come up to her and put my hand on her back and uh, bear down on her, normally a pig will just run from you and I'm putting about half my weight on her back there. Like I said, they call that standing heat. And you can tell uh, the boar, Duke, is acutely interested in her presence. She, and she just ran through her fence apparently because she's here. She probably wants to be bred. He's interested. He is interested. There go the three little pigs. They're healthy and doing well and also out of their fence. Hmm, pigs, 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 and fences pigs and fences it's it's been constant for us honestly oh yeah i'm gonna try to not let her get bred this time <laughs> it's funny that i say i'm gonna try but that that's what i'm gonna try i'm sure that donald would want you to notice he has a fairly new coat beautiful white feathers that actually might be a new one there goes Bonnie. Bonnie, Bonnie, oh Bonnie. All the hardship, all the heartbreak. Nope, leave her alone. I'm gonna point this out to you. The, the mother pig's been out today while we've been here and then while there are other people watching her. And she's roamed inside this fence pasture. There's an electric line around it. It's not a great fence for pigs though, but she stays in it generally. I just want to point this out because while she's in standing heat, 
the, a danger that I'm just now realizing is uh, if you have a cow that's spunky, like Brownie, he'll try to mount other animals occasionally. It's not an issue with the goats, they just skitter off. Um, but she's gonna stand for him because that's how standing heat works. It's, it's the, a pig will not stand and let another animal, let a, a boar mate um, if, if she's not in heat. It's just how nature works. But she would stand for this cow if he tried to mount her, so. Not a good situation. Um, but I'm charging her fence right now, and I'm gonna get her back in, and she'll, she'll be contained. Leave her alone, Brownie. Come on, get out of here, bud. Get out of here, buddy. What do you want? You're funny. You're acting funny because you're in heat. You don't normally act like that, do you? <laughs> you're acting really funny today. Are you in a mood? Are you in a mood? How about a back scratch? How about a back scratch? Come on, let's go. Come on down here. Let's get you back in your fence. <laughs> That's right. Animals are hilarious, and pigs have a ton of personality. Come on, let's go, come on. <laughs> come on, here we go. I wanted to show you this right now though. And you might say, what is that? What is it? <laughs> this is a overgrown tromboncini in all of its strange glory. This was not in your cafeteria, I don't think. Or maybe it was. Let me know in the comments if you ate tromboncini. It kind of looks like it could escape from you if you weren't careful, but we're gonna actually try to eat it for supper. I wanted to let you know that I'm actually gonna close down the sale of these t-shirts and the, um, the other t-shirt we made. So the Home Sweet Homestead and um, the Homestead is where the heart is t-shirt. I'm gonna shut both of those down um, in about two weeks. No, they won't be available anymore. And so if you want this one or the other one, get them in the next two weeks. Well, folks, we're ending this video right where we started, in the kitchen, cooking. Um, I just wanted to leave you with this one word of wisdom. A lot of people cry when they cut onions. The trick is just not getting so emotionally attached. Y'all have a great night.